Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to your You Need to Hear This Love reading. This is going to be a general reading for all signs. Um, so it's going to be the same reading for all 12 signs. And basically, um, I'm going to put this reading out there because it may be something you need to hear. Specifically, if you are in between two different connections. Okay, so if you're torn between choosing two different people, if you're torn between someone new and someone from your past, then this reading can be for you. So um, before I begin, if you would like a private reading with me, I am accepting those um, just before this Christmas period. So um, I still have a few spots left if you want to book in with me. Um, please feel free to reach out. My email is listed in the About Me section. Um, otherwise, I do want to say thank you so much for being here and, of course, for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Um, so thank you so, so much for doing that. Uh, I will be using a couple of decks. I'm using the Star Child Tarot, which is this one here, and I'm using the Shadowscapes Tarot as well. Um, and we'll see what comes up in the cards here for you. So I wanted to lay out some cards. I already... Um, premeditated these cards. You've got the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, the Lovers, and the Six of Cups. Um, so Six of Cups and the, the Lovers on the left-hand side points to your past person or your past connection, the one that you may find yourself thinking about, the one that maybe you thought, what if? Maybe this is the person that sort of got away. Um, and then on the right-hand side, the Two of Cups connection with the Ace of Cups. This is the new person that has recently shown up in your life or in your recent past. Or this is the one that is yet to show up in your life and is going to offer you love. Um, and then the Shadowscapes Tarot to sort of um, be the um, clarifier here as to what's going on with these connections. So um, four of these, all four of these cards are very powerful cards. And um, they do point to two very powerful connections um, I'm first going to start off with this past connection, your past person. So this can be an ex. This can be someone you once dated a little bit and maybe for whatever reason you didn't really get to connect properly. Um, maybe things came up. Maybe it was a rebound thing. You know, maybe you didn't get to explore it in enough depth. Um, but for others of you, this person, you might have dated or married them even and, and split up afterwards. Um, so we're going to explore this past connection first. Um, and any messages you need to hear about this. And then we'll have a look over on the right-hand side, that Two of Cups and Ace of Cups connection. So um, the lovers, the person that you are once connected to, lovers and Six of Cups point us to the past. Um, and let's have a look and see what messages do you need to know about this past connection? What do you need to know about this past person um, that's coming up? Okay, so, so far, Page of Swords, Four of Swords reversed and Five of Swords. Uh, sorry, Page of Pentacles up the top, my mistake. Um, so, Page of Pentacles, straight away, it's this energy of this person has been watching you. Uh, maybe they've been looking at your social media. Maybe they see you at your local gym. Um, maybe they've been asking about you, but it's a really fixated energy, that Page of Pentacles. So straight away, there's a, there's a vibe here that this person is still possibly fixated on you or fixated on the breakup or what went wrong in that situation. Um, they're coming up as the page though. So pages are indicating they're still somewhat maybe bitter or angry or immature about how things ended and they may not be in the healthiest place right now. Um, the five of swords, <clears throat> excuse me, they haven't, um, there's still like some sort of internal battle on their part. They haven't been able to sort of think about things in a very balanced way just yet. Um, and the Five of Swords shows that there's not only internal anger, but there could also still be anger towards you. It's a very hostile energy, so there's, there's still possibly, an, um, they still might be a bit hostile towards you or towards what went wrong in the situation. Um, the Four of Swords is reversed, so it makes me think they haven't let go of you completely. There's still an attachment there. And of course, this is understandable. If you were once intimate with someone and you shared your lives together for a, uh, a period of time, be it a few months, a few years, a few decades, attachments and bonds will form. Um, so, you know, it's understandable that they're not completely over the situation. You know, maybe they are with someone new and they are dating someone new, but it doesn't mean that your memories or what you had together doesn't mean that that's been lost completely, especially for this person. 
But notice the Page of Pentacles. They're watching from afar. So they're trying to go like under the radar. They're trying to not be noticed by you. You know, maybe they're checking to see if you're online on WhatsApp or they're looking at your social media. They want to check out your stories. They want to see who you're tagging, who you're, who you're with now. Um, but if this person has come back up in your life, um, there could be some things you have to sort out. Okay, if they're going to be watching from a distance and they're going to make some sort of approach, or maybe you're going to make the approach, um, the Four of Swords reverse, they're, they're restless about a situation. So they want to sort something out. And I feel with the Five of Swords, it has to be taken care of in a very sensitive and considerate way. Otherwise, what can happen is that Five of Swords, it becomes um, an argument or it becomes a fight. Notice how he's got his blades up. So straight away, he's very defensive or she, in this instance, he or she could be very defensive still. So if you're wanting to reconcile, just know that you might have to tread lightly and maybe, you know, you have to talk about things not while you're angry, maybe when you're in a more calmer mood together. And that might be the way to sort of sift through what it is that you need to um, work through together. Um, but there is someone here from your past that is still fixated on what has happened. Four of Swords Reverse, they haven't let it go completely. I get the sense that they haven't let you go completely. Um, Four of Swords is normally laying things to rest, but when it's reversed, it means we haven't laid something to rest. Um, and maybe they even think of you as the one that got away, or they think you're the one that could have been something, something real and something special. And obviously you had that lovers connection. So there's a lot of air energy. So straight away, it makes me think that they're, thinking of thinking about things a lot um not always expressing them or vocalizing them as they should so i think it's about getting this person to sort of express themselves now this could be you if you're watching maybe you are more trapped in your thoughts you know you've got so many thoughts about the situation about things and maybe there's a message here that you need to talk about it maybe not talk about you know don't jump into it straight away and like, where are we going? What is this? I want you to do X, Y, and Z. Maybe let's, it, it, it's a time to look at the past and go, okay, what could I have done different? Why has my person felt this way? Um, what could they have done different, etc. So I think it's more focusing on that rather than just jumping into anything um, entirely. But let's pull out another three cards for a new connection here. So if you've got someone new, what's the tarot advice for you in this new connection? This new person that may be around you or is coming up around you. Two of Cups. Okay, it's Leo energy. A lot of firsts with this person. Ten of Pentacles. They're wanting to build a future with you. So there's a lot of potential for the long haul. Um, Ten of Pentacles. They've got Leo energy with that Queen of Wands. Strong Leo coming through for some of you. If it's not, it's it's a very confident energy. And Leo shows that this is someone that's coming into your life that wants to look after you. Leo is the provider of the Zodiac. It's the leader, the provider, the real masculine energy or the real um, maternal energy, however your person identifies. Uh, regardless, this is someone that is wanting to take you under their wing and wanting to look after you. Um, they may have this like older sense to them in a, in a way where they could be quite traditional or this is what they're offering. But the Queen of Wands is also very um, adventurous and passionate. So they can offer you some, they can offer you a lot of passion or they're giving out a lot of passionate vibes. Um, this could be a very exciting connection to explore. And the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight. They're high numbers, which could indicate that this person is ready for things that maybe this person was not ready for. Um, it could also indicate with the Ten of Pentacles that they already have experienced these things. You know, maybe they've lived with someone before or they've had children, they've been married. Um, they might have been that they're, they're more set up or maybe more established in a way. And this maybe makes them appear at this point in time more ready than what your ex does or this person from the past, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that person from the past or your ex can't be ready for those things because that would be a lie. Some people are ready, okay? They come back into the picture and they're more ready than they've ever been. Um, but I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, you will you could build a lot of solid foundations with this person. Things like respect and trust 
and loyalty and commitment and follow through and consistency. Um, and these are the sorts of things they're showing you. So I think if you're at a good jumping off point and you're already starting to see those glimpses from this person, then I think it's a very, very good sign. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles, but it is reversed. This could indicate there's not as much work being put into a connection. So, for instance, some of you have someone new who's blowing up your phone, asking you to go out on dates, uh, making effort for you, you know, sending you pictures, um, asking you about your day, inquiring about you. You know, they're making um, effort. But for some of you, it's like it's either you're not making you're not putting the effort back or you're putting in more effort than them. Eight is all about that effort with the Eight of Pentacles. So someone's effort is lacking. There's there's a little bit of lack here. Um, and it might be something you're sort of thinking over going, okay, well, my previous person does this and this person doesn't do that. And you might even be comparing the two people together, which is absolutely natural. You know, we compare the familiar, we compare the past. And, you know, for some of you, this new person's not going to stack up against this old person, you know, because of attachment and you have a history, etc. For some people, maybe you need to give them more of a chance or maybe you need to give it more time. But I like that they can offer you a lot of fun and a lot of excitement, which may be something you're looking for and maybe something you're wanting and needing at this point in, uh, in time. Um, but I feel like with the eight, Ten of Pentacles, it's all about creating and it would appear from the cards that they do want to create something with you. They want to create a connection and they want to create a um, relationship. But I feel with the Eight of Pentacles, you might need to see a little bit more effort on their side or maybe you're the one that needs to put in a little bit more effort. Maybe they want to see it from you. Um, so that might be the message here um, in regards to this, uh, this new connection, this new person. So... They could already be getting a little bit possessive over you. They, they can be quite territorial. They're the kind of connection or kind of person that they go after what they want. They see something they like, they go for it. They want it to be theirs. So this person could be quite possessive in nature. You know, they're, they're proud to have you on their arm. They want to show you off. They, they want to introduce you to their friends and family. Um, you know, they, they might want to make it exclusive fairly quickly because that's how the Queen of Wands is. She's loud and proud about it. So you've got someone here who's who's ready for that, I think. So if you're, you know, if that's the kind of person you are and you're ready to sort of do that together, then, you know, the connection could be very, very successful. So I think, you know, um, ultimately it's going to be your decision and it's going to be where you feel is what's right for you um, at this stage in your life and, and where you are romantically. Um, so they're two very powerful connections and they both can offer you different things, but that doesn't mean you can't work at both in a sense where you can work through these issues or in a sense where you can equally put in effort. So there's just factors that need to happen, things that need to happen on both sides to make it work. If you're choosing either the past person, um, the person that you have a history with, or if you're choosing this new connection, this new person here as well. So, um, I do hope this reading has been helpful. Thank you again for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. Um, if you are after a private reading, please feel free to be in touch and we can go ahead and arrange that for you. Uh, that's subject to availability. Otherwise, don't forget to drop a like on this video, uh, to share it, and of course, to subscribe if you haven't already. Love to have you on board um, and join the YouTube fam. So thanks so much, everyone. Lots of love and until next time, bye for now.